Turn back, fall off. <laughs> now pull your main sheet in and you'll take back off. Oh no, this could end them in a flip butt bowl. That was terrifying. <laughs> So one of our friends slash one of Brandon's employees has bought this little sailing dinghy. It is the cutest thing and Brandon I think is incredibly excited to hoist the, look at me, I don't even know what I'm saying. Y'all know what I mean, <laughs> to sail it. Carl is an absolute legend. He's 80 something and just spry and active and fun as ever. This is something that I love, by the way. We are always like sharing things with our neighbors. It is so cool how everybody just takes care of everybody in the harbor. But anyways, thanks to Carl for letting us use his new toy today. Do you look like you've done this before? <laughs> you guys may recall we've talked about, you know, Brandon used to be a sailor in a past life, hopefully again in a future life. So I know he is just a kid in a candy shop right now. Yeah, I should be able to point pretty good. The breeze is blowing from the sun. I need a little bit more to make it dry. It's driving Ico crazy that she can't be there with him. The main sheet was so hard in the block, I couldn't get the sail far enough out there. What a cute little boat, Carl. Don't ever tell a man his boat's cute. What a nice little boat. <laughs> You're fine, don't worry. Don't Brandon wants me to sail it back home. You guys, I've, I've never sailed anything before and he wants me to do it by myself. But what makes me the most nervous is that like, it's not our boat, it's our buddy Carl's. And I don't want to crash it into all these rocks. Like it'd be one thing if it's ours, but I'm like, my heart's actually racing. <laughs> I get from here, just to right there, right there. We'll pop this loose. Okay, we're gonna release this. This is your gas pedal. Just watch you win. Keep sweeping the tiller. Yeah, push it on out. Get it way on out there. There you go, now you're grabbing wind. Keep, keep sweeping. You just don't have enough wind to fill it full yet. We gotta get you to the ripples. Sarah's first sailing adventure. Alright, Sarah's first tack. Alright, now let, let the wind grab the mast. Keep turning. Pull the sail, baby. No, pull the sail back. Yeah, there you go. There you go, baby. Now you sailing. Oh yeah, here we go. Sit father out on the boat if it tries to flip on you. You're doing good. Alright, now fall off a little bit. You're going straight into the wind. Watch your head. Turn back. Fall off. No, the other fall off. Watch your head. All right, it's going to grab it. Now pull your main sheet in and you'll take back off. Let go of your main sheet. <laughs> you let go of the tiller. Don't let go of the tiller. The main sheet's what you let go of. All right, she's sailing.
was like, I don't know, this could end in a flip duck boat. <laughs> that was terrifying. <laughs> I might have like crashed into the dinghy twice, but. Yeah, you turned a little sharper than I thought you were. You came right up. Yeah, I don't know. That, I think that that has a lot of potential to be really fun, but I'm not gonna lie. I can't wait to look back on this one day whenever we're like really good sailors and be like, oh, but for now, big yikes. <laughs> you got a 55 foot tall mast with a sail on it. Oh. Oh. I just feel like none of it is ergonomic. Like, I, that's, I don't know. That's probably a stupid thing to even be commenting on. This thing, could this not have been built here instead yeah, of here, like four here, inches. I just feel like it could have spared four inches and then you wouldn't have to be like doing this number all the time to not get a concussion. <laughs> but no catastrophe, so actually I'm really excited to, to try that again soon. With maybe a little more wind. I remember back like when I first got this dinghy and even that was just terrifying because I'd never used a tiller arm before and, and you know everything's backwards to like a steering wheel. I'm doing it! I'm really doing it! I like it! I, I thought I would not like it but I think I really like it. Want to show you how to park? Yeah. We didn't take a video of me like smashing into our dock three or four times but that happened and then I got the hang of it. So I'm sure I'll get the hang of this. Now that I'm a master captain, next on the list, briefly, we have to replace the pipes for the wood stove. I know we mentioned a couple weeks ago that we might do it well, surprise we are, so. I may have gotten some information from someone that wasn't entirely correct, but it'll be all right. Mm-hmm. There'll be nothing to it. Hopefully we'll sell this pellet pipe to somebody and it'll save them a little money. So yeah, I guess this is pellet stove pipe. If you're interested in buying a pellet stove, please let us know if you need any pipe. We'd be lying if we said this wasn't a huge headache. It was enough to install it once, but twice. Let me just give you the cliff notes version. Four inch stove pipe double wall insulated wall is really tough to find in America. But luckily I found a company called Flame Innovation and solid. First off, their telephone number are their cell phones. They pick up anytime you call them. They have everything you need for tiny wood stoves. They even have their own tiny wood stoves and they'll talk to you on the telephone and help work out any issues you have and send you the product you need in a very timely manner. They even called me four or five days after I bought everything and it got delivered to make sure that my installation went good and if I needed anything else, sent me extra insulation to go in the wall, kale wool, everything. The problem we had was me not knowing everything I needed to know and the company that we first bought our product from wouldn't answer the telephone. So we pulled our pellet stove pipe out. We put in a four inch wood stove pipe, works great. But I would suggest if you want good customer service and a tiny wood stove company that'll help you from start to finish, these guys seem to have been the best that I've dealt with. So everything worked out great. Thanks Flame Innovations. If you need a tiny wood stove, Got it pretty tight. That's good. Okay. So lesson lesson number two, Carl's teaching me how to rig up the boat.
right, I guess I better go get some serious practicing with Carl, huh? Thank you so much for keeping afloat with us and hanging out with us each week, following our journey. If you're not subscribed, please feel free to do that. We post videos each week about life on a floating tiny home. So either way, thanks for being here.